Uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I think in order to be a filmmaker or anything in life that we're going to kind of step out and say, I can do something that nobody thinks I'm capable of doing, takes a, a, a certain degree, uh, a reasonable degree, if you will, of absolute unreasonability. Because reason dictates that you don't do that sort of thing. You don't take a bunch of money and try to go off and, hey, you pretend you're this, and you pretend you're this, and I'm not fucking filming. <laughs> Unless it's just like, you pretend you're fucking him, and you pretend you're <laughs> Really fuck it, I'm gonna film it. <laughs> That's practical, that makes sense. But where you're just like, um, you're a make pretend cop, and you're a make pretend bishop, and you guys met in a bar, though, you know. It's, it's, it's kind of, um, it takes a, a reasonable degree of unreasonability to be like, yeah, I think that'll work, or I'm gonna do that, even though nobody in your family or you have ever been known for doing that. So it takes a little bit to just stand out and just be like, yeah, fuck it, it's not normal, but I'm going to do it. Sometimes you just got to do what the other guy hasn't done yet. Not like what he's unwilling to do, just what he hasn't even thought of doing yet. Convenience store movie, dude. Easiest thing in the world, I was working at a convenience store, I was just like, how come nobody's ever made a movie set in a convenience store before? I got this whole fucking convenience store here. I'm not writing a movie, it's set it here. All I did was fill a hole that existed, man. And, you know, that's what you got to do. Farm a hole, fucking fill it. That's <laughs> There's no movie out there that represents me, you know? Like, I love going to movies, I love escaping and watching shit blow up and fucking whatnot, but, like, Die Hard, I love Die Hard, but, like, I don't identify with fucking Die Hard. You know, I would never shoot somebody, I would never jump off a building, I would never even take my fucking shirt off in public. <laughs> like John McClane. So, like, I can't identify with John McClane, and I was sitting there going, well, it would be nice if I saw a movie once where, like, I saw me up there, and I wasn't some D-list fucking fat clown character and shit, like, I can't get the girl! <laughs> It'd be nice to see you represent up there, or my friends, the things we talk about and shit like that. And I saw Reservoir Dogs, a movie that quite made. First few minutes of it, motherfuckers sitting around talking about, like, uh, like a virgin, a song, and I'm sitting there going, this counts now? <laughs> like, this counts as movie dialing? You just sit there and talk about a fucking song that has nothing to do with the plot? I want to be a filmmaker, man. Because I can talk about a lot of useless shit. I, I know a lot of fucking shit. And so when I went and made my flick, when I started writing Clerks, I was like, what do I want to put in? Fucking Star Wars, fucking hockey, dudes talking about pussy, fucking dead people, all the things I'm into. <laughs> and I did, and kind of went up there and then put it up, and, and then I was happy. I was just like, ah, there's a movie that I can identify with. And that's what I did for like the first 13, 14 years. Just keep putting me and my friends up there. But now I'll fucking throw a rock and you'll see one of me and my friends up there. Because now every week there's a story of some fucking lovable loser who, you know, is going to get a girl and break through somehow and whatnot. And that, I mean, the underdog stories have always existed, don't get me wrong. But these lovable losers now, they all seem like they're sons of Randall and shit. They talk about pop culture constantly. They insist, insist other people are gay. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I started doing that because nobody else was. Now everybody does it, and I'm content to be like, okay, well, they're telling all my stories now, so I'm going to just kick back and watch those and try to tell, tell all the stories for the time being. You know? um, so be one of those guys. Take up the slack. Now's your time. What do you want to make a movie about, though? Um, comedy. Yeah, off to a good start. <laughs> Road trip. I'm sorry?